guys, I'm Becca Hilburn. Today we are going to be working on a, my 2016 Christmas card. My Patreon backers will all get a handwritten card this year, as well as my friends and family. So if you are interested in a holly jolly holiday message from me, please check out natosoup. I mean, shoot, patreon.com slash natosoup. Your support helps me make further content. So you guys can barely, barely see it. But I've gone ahead and I printed out a sketch on um, Canton's Moulin du Roy watercolor paper. It's a 140 pound watercolor paper. I will be stretching this paper. And now I need to pencil this image. Now you guys can barely, barely see it. It is blue lines, very faint, which is great for me because it's gonna wash right off when I add the water. But you guys will see that soon enough. And it is a heartwarming illustration of Naomi and Kara from my family-friendly watercolor comic, Seven Inch Kara, which you guys can find on my site at natosoup.com slash Kara hyphen com comic k-a-r-a hyphen c-o-m-i-c you can um so they are exchanging gifts for the holiday season so we're going to start with pencils and i am going to pencil this with a mechanical pencil with h lead you want something pretty hard um soft lead tends to smear when you add water and i'm going to go ahead and do that in time lapse Actually, while I do that, why don't I tell you about my sponsor? So the sponsor of this tutorial, the sponsor of this video is the comic 7-inch Kara Volume 1. Uh, it is a 100-page children's book. It is a children's comic. 70 of those pages are comic. And the back end of the some, 70-something of those pages is comic. And the back end of the book is all concept stuff. And this is an all ages comic, but it is aimed at um, uh, early readers or uh, easy readers from eight to 11. And it follows the adventures of Kara, who is a seven inch tall little girl meeting humans for the first time. And the first volume is available for purchase just in time for the holidays. So if you have a young one in your life who loves to read or maybe who doesn't love to read, is struggling with reading, comics are a fantastic way to encourage literacy. There's a strong correlation between the text and dialogue used and the images shown, so that helps reinforce reading comprehension. It is also great for children who may have developmental difficulties that make, um, learning how to read people and read expressions difficult because with comics, there is a strong co correlation between the facial expressions and what's going on in the image. So if you've got a young one, a little one in your life who might enjoy a watercolor adventure with beautiful art, or if you enjoy the art on this channel, please check that out. I honestly wouldn't be recording any of this if I wasn't a comic artist. So it means a lot to me when you head on over and check those sort of things out. And of course, patrons, supporters of my Patreon, supporters of this channel and of the blog actually have access to a digital download of the first volume that is included with their subscription. So by becoming a backer, you actually get access to volume one. And as we continue to meet goals and raise money, I'm going to start releasing volume two chapters as a Patreon exclusive. So if that seems like something you would enjoy, you should head on over to patreon.com slash natosoup, N-A-T-T-O-S-O-U-P, for information on how to join me and my fellow art nerds on Patreon. So really, I am mostly just tightening up the sketch, but also going over the sketch with the pencil. Um, this is just to provide guidelines for when I start painting. In all of Seven Inch Kara, volume one, with the exception of the bonus story, is handled in this way.
Okay guys, so now is a really good time. If you have any changes that you wanna to make to the original illustration, now is a good time to do it. You see how I'm adding little strings to the Lilliputian stockings? Um, those, the strings weren't in the original illustration, but they help make more visual sense. So I went ahead and added them before I penciled in the pine boughs that are behind the stockings. And unlike with inks, your goal for penciling watercolors isn't to do things as tight as possible. It's just to do things tight enough so that you can paint over it. Now I did have, I do have, let me zoom out, a thicker line weight on Naomi than I do on Kara, and that's just because of their size differences. All right, guys, so that's our illustration penciled. Um, when you're finished penciling, you may want to use a drafting brush to just go ahead and gently remove any pencil shavings you might have on the paper surface. You don't really wanna use your hand because your hand has oils on it and that can affect how watercolor paper absorbs water. So you do wanna use the brush as much as possible. That said, I was using my fingernail to scrape off some stubborn eraser shavings. I will see you guys in our next video where I will show you how to stretch your watercolor pages using gator board, blue painter's tape, some paper towels, and a little bit of water. Um, it would also help if you have a mop brush, although you don't have to have a mop brush, and it also helps to have a spray bottle of water. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it useful, if you found it helpful, if you found it inspiring, please make sure you leave a like. If you have any questions or have anything that you'd like to say, please leave a comment down below. If you have a direct concern or a problem with the material that I'm covering, please address me directly because I am a person and I am more than happy to answer your questions, complaints, or issues. Um, if you enjoyed this video, and you'd like to help me out, please take a moment to share it to your social networks, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram. Well, maybe not Instagram. You'd have to take a photo and then link it. But all of those are super easily easy to do. You just use those links down below the video. It helps me out a lot. It really inspires me. It encourages me. It lets me, people know, let me know that people love my content and like what I do and value the information that I am sharing so very freely. Um, if you enjoy, enjoy my videos, please remember that I don't get paid for these videos unless you watch at least 30 seconds of the ad at the beginning of the video. I think it's a small price to ask for some free quality art education. You are benefiting from my two and a half years in grad school and my four plus years achieving a BFA in undergrad. So if you enjoy the sort of stuff that I do and you want to help me out, watching just 30 seconds of an ad really goes a long way and I really, really appreciate it. Lastly, if you want to help fund future content like this, please take a moment and head on over to my Patreon at patreon.com slash natosoup. That way you can join the art nerd community. It's just $2 a month to get in and backers get all sorts of exclusive goodies. And I am working on revamping my Patreon to better suit my community for 2017. So thank you guys again for watching. As always, I'm Becca Hilburn. Thank you for joining me in my studio, which is Natto Soup Studio. If you like the art that you see here, please take a moment to head on over to natosoup.com slash Kara hyphen comic K-A-R-A hyphen C-O-M-I-C for the first volume of my watercolor all ages comic, Seven Inch Kara. It is a family friendly adventure that centers around a seven inch tall little girl named Kara meeting humans for the first time. So I will see you guys soon with our stretching tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this watercolor basics tutorial on penciling. I will see you guys again. Bye.